Back home, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission chairperson Wafula Chebukati and his team of six commissioners have pledged to work with all stakeholders to ensure free and fair elections on August 8th. The newly appointed IABC commissioners convived at the Supreme Court of Kenya to take the oath of office. The ceremony was officiated by the Chief Justice. It is less than 200 days for the general election. Yet, the Commission's plans to audit the voters' register, tendering for ballot papers, and procurement of equipment to manage the integrated election system have been delayed after interested parties petitioned the courts to block the process. Please first track those cases which have been filed in court, which are an embedment to the process which IBC is carrying on. The cases which are holding IBC from progressing towards the general election. That I can assure you that we will do our best to have those cases finalized as quickly as possible. If there are any other cases which may arise from the electoral process, I want to take this opportunity to assure the Kenyans that the judiciary is also ready to deal with those uh, cases and complete them within the stipulated period in the Constitution. The IABC boss said his team will review existing election strategic plans and roll out a long-term strategic plan that will restore confidence and trust in the institution. We must stop, put a stop to the connection between elections and electoral malpractices. Sometimes it ends up in violence and even death. I want to assure Kenyans that those who are found culpable carrying out electoral malpractices as a commission, we shall make sure they face the full force of the law. We do not want to go back to the era when uh, Joseph Stalin uh, said the people who cast votes don't decide an, an election. The people who count the votes are the ones who decide. That we, can, we, should, we cannot afford to go back to. I hope, Mr. Chairman, that you and your commissioners will immediately implement the part of the law that requires you to be satisfied that candidates meet the integrity test that is in the Constitution. That is a mandate that you must not take lightly. And number two, that you will discipline all persons who are in violation of, of the electoral process. To help reduce suspicion in the high-stake election, Chebukati promised to create a level playing field for all contestants. I pledge to work with all stakeholders within the law to ensure that we have a free, fair and credible election come August 8th this year. The commissioners will oversee the ongoing countrywide voter registration exercise. Chebukati's team has organized a prayer breakfast on Monday before officially taking office. We need spiritual intervention to lead this process and we don't take it for granted. Uh, chairman, your commissioners, welcome to this very, I don't think you need to hear it from me, <laughs> a difficult assignment but that, that has to be done. And destiny has chosen you uh, to succeed the previous commission. The fresh commissioners replaced the isaac led team that was kicked out of office due to credibility concerns. Chebukati has pledged to maintain an open-door policy, be impartial, and deliver a credible election in August. Patrick Amimo, KTN News, at the Supreme Court of Kenya, Nairobi.